nsaka ko mufata gukorera imana kurundi rugero kurugera imana ibifata kuruta yuko mutekereza yuko aha nga hari ho dukorera imana gusa aha naho twitoreza ahubwo twasoka tukajya gukorera imana uko bikwiriye muri domaine zose ishibiracariho ijatuma tuzimbere imana dushima nubwo twaba tunyo We praise God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Ashime de Zevenier de Nogaribao. You know, Mana, we shall borrow your mammy, ma. This is the time of your word, O God. Trusts in Maragazima as the Korean Mugaragua. Power to work in your servants. A bitch, I twisted to take a Jacob Vicho at the Gui. All of us who are sitting or waiting on what you have to tell us. Please echo Chuva Kugi and Wakandi Kadu Fashamuru. We believe that it's going to be helpful for our souls. Abarikumanaja Mukomerimana Mash. Clap your hands for the Lord. Yes, Ashimne. Praise God. Praise Jesus. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Raise your hands. I greet you. I thank God for allowing me to come back here. I was here last year. And we had a great time. Shimie Muyobozi we tore I thank the leader of the church and the whole team. They work together for trusting me to come back and share the word with you. God, them and the God that called them, let's clap our hands for them. My name is Pastor Viva Vincent de Paul. I, I am a leader of um, Power of Change Ministries. Power of Change Ministries. I love God and His people. I love teaching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abo tuaba tuara bo nanye ubushize. Those who saw me last year. I want you to raise your hands. All of you are new. You didn't see me last year. Most of you are new. Good. We're going to have a great time. The reason why I'm asking those who are is because we're going to repeat some of the things we said last time. We talked about three teachings in, the, in March last year. The first was we can be rich and righteous. We can be rich and righteous. It is possible. The second said that every person has a level of intelligence or knowledge that God has given him. Praise God. The third one, I'll say it once I have started preaching. Today, I'm going to talk about serving God as kings and priests. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Serving God as kings and priests. Praise God. 
the pastors have chosen well that this year will be the year of serving God as last year was the year of maturity. Unfortunately, that it's unfortunate that some people might ignore it when it's for them. Have, have you seen that the time when we were taught to be mature, the ones who are mature were the ones who passed through well? May God bless our ser- the servant of God because he has been revealed to Whenever God puts you in a place to learn his word, whatever is being taught to you concerns you more than anybody else. Last year, last year was for maturity. This year is for serving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to talk to servants who want to serve God as kings and priests. It is good to know that we came on earth on the mission of God. Your birth, Amen. Your birth and my birth is not just the will of our parents, it's the will of God. Let's start with Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. The book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. It tells us what God created us for. It is written. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ so we may do good things he planned for us long ago. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are God's creation or masterpiece. He created us anew so that we may do good things in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good works are, in, are very various and different and you cannot do all of them and I cannot do either. And, and no one can, do, can, can be able to do all the good works but everyone has what is for them. That is why there are different callings. There are people who clean this place so that we may sit here when it is neat and clean. That is their work, that is their calling in the house of God. There are the protocol who are making sure everything is running smoothly. That is their calling. That is their work. Aren't they serving God? They are serving God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The life on earth is built on eight foundations. Some call it mountains. So I, I would like to call it pillars, although some people call it mountains. In the Chinese, we call it spheres of influence. Mm. These spheres of influence, God wants us to serve in them. That is why I'm telling you that we're going to talk about serving God as kings and priests. Hallelujah. 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 When Jesus found that the disciples had spent the whole night fishing in vain, he told them to, th- to cast their nets um, so that they may bring fish. 
yari arimo akorera mu mavuta ya cyami do umwami ahora yita ku mibereho myiza yabo areberera cyangwa abanyagihugu He was working through the anointing of a king because the king is concerned with the well-being of his people Ari ku munsi yinjiraga mu rusengero agasanga barimo gucururiza makabatera imigeri yari arimo akorera mu mavuta ya gitambyi kuko umutambyi ni ureba ibibera mu ngoro y'Imana But when he got to the church and he found people selling in church he started destroying everything he was working in the anointing of a priest because the priest looks after the house of God Niba muri abigishwa biza mukaba mumva ibyo nshaka kuvuga gukorera Imana kwacu ikurangirira mu rusengero gusa if you are good disciples and you understand what I'm telling you, serving God does not end in church. But serving God is in all those spheres that I'm going to tell you. The first sphere is family. Family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all have families we come from. Niyo mpamvu ni yusomye muri Bibiliya usanga bakubwira ngo Mose mwene Amuramu na Yokebed That is why we find in the Bible they tell you Moses son of Abraham Niyo mpamvu yo dusomye dusanga hari ibisekuru 40 bya Yesu That is why in the Bible we read 40 generations of Jesus umuryango family umuryango ni ishingiro ry'ibintu byose Family is the basis of everything Ndaza kubigarukaho I will come back to this the second sphere is the sphere of faith. Religion. Religion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In religion, that is where we find churches. And different ministries. Now a minister under. It is under it is under one sphere of religion. Inkingi ya gatatu ni inkingi y'imyigire education The third is the sphere of education Ndi kubivuga ni ihuta kuko ntari bubivugeho byose ndi bivuge ku nkingi ebyiri zo nyine nizo I'm going through it quickly because I'm only going to focus on two Iyo umuntu avutse uburere bw'ibanze n'ubumenyi bw'ibanze abuhererwa mu muryango When a person is born the first education he gets it from family Imana yagenye yuko uburere bwa kabiri abuhererwa mu itorero God has ordained that the second education form of education is from the church Kuko si bose bagira amahirwe yo kujya mu mashuri asanzwe Because it's not everyone who gets lucky to go to to school the third is when they go to school for education. That is why we have different sectors of education from nursery to, to university. The third sphere that is the sphere of governance. That, that is why we are likely to call it the sphere of politics. But governance is not just made of politics. The fifth is about economy and development. Most of the times we are likely to only take business, but business is among economy, is in economy. This is the, another sphere of economy. The ni media media bwo sinzi uko ndi bubonera ikinyarwanda kiza ah reka tubyita itangaza makuru nubwo itangaza makuru ari akantu gatoya muri cyo kitwa media the se, the fifth we cannot find the right key around the word for it but it's media ni inkingi igendanye ni tangaza ni sakaza rya makuru no ibintu nk'ibyo ngibyo it it is it involves sharing and sharing of information inkingi ya karindwi the seventh sphere it's for entertainment and arts. Sports and arts. The eighth is for health. 
Imana ituzana ku isi rero yatuzanye ku isi kugira ngo iyi misozi yose izinkingi zose ziboneke mabagabo n'abagore n'abasore n'inkumi bubaha Imana. So when God brought us here on earth is for all is for all these fairs to have men and women to serve him. Tujya tugira ikibazo rero cyo kwiyima ukumva yuko abantu bakorera ku musozi umwe gusa witwa umusozi w'idini ariwo bakozi b'Imana Sometimes we have this this problem of of thinking that people who serve God are only the people who serve God on the sphere of religion Reka nkubaze Let me ask you Ko babyeyi babyaye hano For the parents that are here Baba bagabo baba bagore Men or women Iyo umugore atwite ukamushyira umuganga akamubyaza uri ya muganga ni umukozi wandi when, when your wife is pregnant and the doctor helps her deliver the child, is the doctor a worker, servant? Isn't he a servant of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't he a servant of God? Even when we're praying for a wife who is about to deliver, we pray for the wife and we pray for the to, for the doctors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndashaka rero ko muri iyi minota mike dufite tuganira kugukorera imana nk'abami n'abatambyi ku buryo bwagutse mureke guteza mbute yaje na kajagari ku musozo umwe gusa witwa idini ngo yindi misozi muyirekera abandi. This is why we're going to talk about how to serve God as kings and priests to not only focus on the mountain of of religion but serve God in on other spheres. Turacyari kumwe. Are we still together? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turacyari kumwe. Are we still together? Umuntu wese ushaka kazi akabona muri iyi misozi twavuze. Nta kazi kari inyuma y'ibyo ngibyo twavuze. Everyone who wants who's looking for a job finds it in among these fears that we talked about. Nushaka gukorera imana agomba gukorera imana muri izi nkingi zose twavuze. Nta yindi iri inyuma yazino nkingi. And if everyone wants anyone who wants to serve God serves God in these fears. Ni imani kubwiye kuzayikorera ibivuze kuyikorera muri imwe cyangwa muri nyinshi muri zino nkingi kuko harabagira ubushobozi bwo gukora muzirenze imwe Even when God tells you that you're going to serve him he says you're going to serve him in one or more of these spheres Haba Kristo rero As Christians then I umusozi wose wabukoreraho Whichever sphere that you're working on tugiye kurebera hamwe uburyo ukwiriye kugaragazamo ubumana kuri uwo musozi We're going to show you how you're supposed to show God in in that mountain. Kuzuru muka wa wen habo kukuiri ya kurangiri la kukufuga kundi muri hano muri sengero. Wahanyuma nujira mungi garaja hukora birangiri la honga. Being filled with the spirit should not end here in the church. And when you're in the garage, wherever you work from, and it ends there. I'm not telling you that when a client brings his band, you should speak in tongues. Oh yeah, muzana negosi mufuga ni vichiro neza. You should talk about prices well. Ariko wibuke yuko ushobora no gukora usenga bikongera ubwenge wize. But you should know that you can even work and pray at the same time and increase the wisdom that you know. Ubushize ndi hano nababwiye ku mugabo witwa Besareli Imana yujuje umwuka w'ubukorikori. I want to tell you about the a uh, person called Besalel whom God filled the spirit of arts. Ndashaka kumubasubiriramo nanone. I want to read in for you. Shaka kumusubiriramo mukumva ikintu Besarel. I want to read Besarel for you. Imana yamwujuje umwuka. How God filled his spirit in him. Ugendanye numusozi yakoreraga. Which is according appropriate to the mountain he was serving in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Niba uri umuganga. When you are if you are a doctor. Ukwiriye kumenya yuko nawe. You should know that you as well. Uh umwuka wera that you know that you need Habu the Holy Spirit. You're not uh, exempt from the Holy Spirit. You're not exempt to receive the Holy Spirit. Let's read in Exodus chapter 31. Chapter 31. Chapter 31, Exodus. The Bible tells us about craftsmen. Then the Lord told Moses, Look, I have specifically chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, 
grandson of the tribe of Judah muzuzu umwuka w'Imana ngo agire ubwenge bwo guhimba nubwo gutora nubuhanga nubukorikori bwose I have filled him with the spirit of God giving him great wisdom ability and expertise in all kinds of crafts in all kinds of crafts hallelujah nubukorikori bwose in all kinds of crafts hallelujah hallelujah Imana yacu ifite ubushobozi bwo kuzuza umwuka umuntu usho ni mpuzu akazishona kurundi rwego kuburyo umuntu wese uzibonya ahita avuga ngo uyu muntu ni umuhanga kandi byaturutse ku mpano y'umwuka we God has the ability of filling a person who who makes shoes who fixes shoes the ability to do them so that everyone who sees the shoes will know that this person is wise Bibiliya iratubwira ngo isi Imana yayihaye abantu ngo bayiyobore kandi abo yayihaye nabagomba kwiyoboza umwuka wayo God, the Bible tells us that God gave people this earth to, for people to lead it and the people to lead this earth have to lead it with his spirit. Niyo mpamvu buri wese ku musozi yahawe gukoreraho ni umukozi w'Imana kandi bijya gukora agomba kubikora ari mu mwuka. That is why for every person on every mountain you are on you should do it in spirit. Murongo wa kane haranditse ngo verse 4 says byo guhimba imirimo y'ubuhanga He is a master of craftsman, craftsman. No guchuriza habu ni feza ni miringa. Expert in working gold, silver and bronze. No gukeba mabuye no gukwikirwa no kubaza no kugira ubukorikori bwose. He is skilled in engraving and mounting gemstones and carving wood. He is a master of every craft. Hallelujah. 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 Bibiri yetubwiye ngo ibi abikoreshejwe numwuka wera. The Bible is telling us all of this with the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. Ndashaka kubona abantu biteguye gukorera Imana muri domaine Imana yabahaye gukoreramo buzu uyu mwuka wera. Bayobowe numwuka wera. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to see people who are doing whatever they're doing using the by the holy spirit filled with the holy spirit ikibabaje nuko abantu batekereza yuko mwuka wera ari nk'ikote bambara noneho bakaryambara baje mu materaniro bajya kujya mu kazi kabo ka buri munsi bagasiga bari manitsa hano the the sad thing is that people think that the holy spirit is a coat that they wear when they come in church and they put it away when they are going to work niyo mpamvu that is why iyo mwana wo mupasteli abgiye se ati numva nzajya muri politike when a child of a pastor tells him that i want to do politics rimwe na rimwe iyo pasteli atari amenya yuko iyi misozi yose ikwiriye kujyaho abubaha imana most of the times when the pastor had not understood that all these mountains needs people who know god ashobora guhita tegura yirindwi he might he could start prayers of seven days yo gukubita haso umugambi ndetse abitu wa satan to put down that will thinking that it's of the devil mu kinyarwanda bacumugani sinzi ko ari bubonera icyongereza bacumugani ngo umuntu abyara umubiri ntabyara umutima In Kinyarwanda they say a person gives birth to the body not the heart. Ibyo bishatse kuvuga iki? What does this mean? Ushobora kubyara umuntu umugasa? You can give birth to a person who looks like you. Ariko afite ubwonko n'umutima bye byihari. But they have a brain and a heart which is different. Sinihame yuko muhamagara Imana yaguhamagaye ari wiza muhamagara. I believe that your calling is different from theirs. Namaze gusobanukirwa imwe mu mpamvu abana baba pasteli bibagora. I have understood that the reason why it is hard for children of pastors. Benshi mu bapasteli baba bumva yuko abana bose babyaye bagomba gukorera imana kugatuti nkabo. Most pastors think that the children should serve God on the altar on the pulpit like them. Umwana yavuga ati yewe ndashaka kujya ndashaka kujya kwiga ibintu byo kudesigning imyenda nkajya nshushanya imyenda nkabiha batayeri bakabidoda. Isakarara da sinziri ati mana umwana yayubye When the when the child comes and say I want to go into fashion designing clothes and the pastor it said that child has been misled Ariko nagira ngo nkubwire ko But I want to tell you this Uko imana yaguhamagaye ikaguhamagarira ku musozi w'idini The same way God call you for the mountain of religion Ni nako yamuhamagarira ku musozi w'ubukungu That is the same way God can call him or her on the mountain of economy Ni nako yamuhamagarira ku musozi w'ubuyobozi na politiki The same way he can call him on the mountain of governance and politics 
None se yakubwiye ko ashaka kuzaba umuganga uvura abantu kubyemera yakubwiye ko ashaka kuba umusirikare ku cyubyanga hari igihugu kitagira ingabo If he tells you he wants to be a doctor you're okay with it but when he tells you he's a soldier you don't agree is there a country without a soldier None se barokorere ka mbabaza Christians let me ask you Abana banyu bose ni mwanga ko bajya mu ngabo z'igihugu no muri politique If you don't want your children to go into the army or into politics Reka mvuge ngo aba Kristo bose ba banze ko bajyayo Let's say every Christian has said no to it Bose barashaka kubazana hano kugatuta ho duhagaze They all want to bring them on the pulpit Ntago bizagora abari gutoza aba bantu batigeze bamenya indanga gaciro z'Imana kubatoza ni ngombwa yuko hajyamo erema hajyamo abantu bamenya imana bafite indanga gaciro z'ubumana it is going to be hard to train those people who do not have values and principles of god hallelujah hallelujah ibihugu byose byateye imbere all the countries that have prospered nujya gucukumbura amateka yabo if you look into their history Uzasanga hari ibintu bibiri bigenda na byatumye batera imbere. You find that there are two things that help them prosper. Uzasanga hari abayobozi mu nzego za politike bazi cyo bashaka. You will see that there were leaders polit in politics who knew what they wanted. Kandi bakoranaga bya bugufi n'abayobozi mu nzego z'idini bazi cyo bashaka. Who worked closely in the with the leaders in religion who knew also what they wanted. Kamba hurugero rufatika. Let me give you a tangible example. Ni bande bamaze kubona ku madolari bamaze gufata ku madolari gutya byibuze Who have touched on dollars who have seen dollars Muri benshi You are many here Kuri za note za madolari zitandukanye On these uh, dollar bills Haribiye imwe yanditse hamagambo avuga ngo in God we trust There is one bill that is written on in God we trust Ibyiringiro byacu cyangwa ibyiringiro byacu biri mu mana we trust in god in god we trust kimwe mu bintu bitangaje idolari ntabwo ari ryo ntabwo ari ryo rifita gaciro kuruta yandi ugiye kuvunjisha ama pound yabongereza araliruta nama yarariruta surprisingly the dollar is not the the biggest in currency pounds and euros are greater than it ariko wamenya Kujya utekereza impamvu iyo bagiye kuvuga ukuntu ibintu byazamutse uko byagabanutse babigereranya na gaciro k'idolari aho kubigereranya na gaciro k'pound cyangwa k'iriero But don't you ask yourself why when they are measuring currencies and how the economy is going they measure it according to the dollar Harabagabo bo kwizera basengeye America mu gihe runaka There are men of faith who prayed for America in a time in the past. Abakiri batoye mu gihe ni mukoro ubushakashatsi. Those who are young who go and make research. Kuri ako kantu mvuze murebe bishop bishop wabirwaniye kugira ngo byandikwe byandikwe ku dollar. Go look for the bishop that pray, that thought that it may be written on the dollar. Muraza kubona umuntu mu president wavuze ngo abanyamerika bose ntabwo bizera imana ngo ubwo ngubwo ngo yababashyize mu 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 gatebo kamwe ashaka kubyiyopoza yapfuye manda yitarangiye. There is even a, a, a president who wanted to oppose that saying that all Americans are not Christians. He died before his, his term ended. Yes, Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise Jesus. A country would never prosper if it does not have leaders in the politics and leaders in the religion who do what God wants. And they cannot lead well if they don't do what God wants. Niba mujya musoma Bibiliya mwabonyemo ko harimo namategeko yo gukoresha ubutaka In the Bible have you seen that there are laws for for the land concerning the land Impamvu ubutaka butakiduha umwero wabwo ntago bukigira isabato ntiburuhuka The reason why land no longer has productivity is because it no longer has sabato Kuko Bibiliya yitwereka ko hagomba kuba hisabato y'ubutaka ngo ku mwaka wa gatandatu ubutaka bakaburaza ngo ku mwaka wa gatandatu heraga inshuro nyinshi aho ibyo ubutaka bwagombaga gutanga kugira ngo ku mwaka wa 7 bazaburaze bujye mwisabato buruhuke bazongere kubuhinga kandi ku mwaka wa 8 base nabatangiriye They would stop on the 6th on the 6th harvest the 6th year so that they would give land rest so that in the 7th year they would 
um, cultivate again. So all these children, so all these children that we do not want to go to politics, if we do not let them go to the Ministry of Agriculture, how will they know this? Today I come to, to, to just a little bit challenge you. I want you to value serving God on another level. So this is a place, this is a training area and outside world is where we practice what we learned here. That is why the saddest thing for me is when I see a person who comes in the church to learn who is literate and they don't come with a book and a paper. You're, you're lying to us, you leave the things that we teach you here. Your heads will have tap and go cards. They will have prices of food on the market. School fees of children and headbands. And the word of God that you do not write, you're, you're not going to take it in your head. If, if I ask you what you learned last Sunday, the people who would repeat it are few. We would not be serving God if we do not correct you. So you should come to church with a book and a paper. Uh, for forgive me for giving rules in a, in a church that is not mine, but this is God's place. Especially my friends here who are still young. Your brains do not, funk, do not retain things as these people who are older. Uh, and the generation we were born in has so much chaos. If you don't have words to write and you will forget it. It is in the Bible. In Ephesians, It's a center of education and training. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 8. Read the first in English. Ephesians. Verse 8 and 10 to 10. Ephesians chapter 3. Uh, read the first. Uh, yeah. Though I am least deserving of all people, he graciously gave me the privilege of telling Gentiles about endless treasures of them in Christ. Mm -hmm. I was chosen to explain to everyone this mysterious plan of God. The creator of all things had kept a secret from the beginning. God's purpose in all this was to use church to display wisdom in which variety to all the unseen rulers and authorities in heavenly places. Amen. 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 The manifold wisdom of God. Because the God of This is the verse that I started with last time when I was telling you about the different wisdoms and knowledges that 
um, researchers found. Twashoje mbabwira yuko buri wese ari umunyabwenge. Ikibazo dushaka gufata standard y'ubwenge bumwe akaba ari bwo tugenzuza ubundi. Wo shobora kuri umunyabwenge mu bigendanye no muziki, nge nkaba ndu umunyabwenge mu bigendanye no gushushanya. I concluded saying that everyone is wise, everyone has knowledge. Uh, we might have it in different um, aspects, but we all have it. Ushatse kureba uburyo ifiyoga ntabwo yikura mu mazi ngo yishyire ku butaka. If you want to see how a fish swims, you don't put it on the ground. Uyikumisha mu mazi nyine kuko niyo domaine yayo. You keep it in water because that's where it lives. Now, niba rero Imana yarashize hitorero kugira ngo ryigishe bose ubwenge bw'uburyo bwose butarondoreka bw'Imana iyo umuntu agiye kwiga ajyana ho yandika barokore so if God has chosen the church to display his wisdom in its rich variety, that is why we should come to church with pens and papers to write what we learned. The reason why people on other mountains despise us and tell us that we are full of chaos umuntu ukozi kosi ya gisirikare cyangwa ya gipolisi cyangwa ya daso a person who has gone through the course of military police or security niyo azaza nyuma y'imyaka 10 even after 10 years usanga byibuza afite nka 50 ku ijana byibyo yakuye kuri yakose they have 50% of what they have learned on that course niyo mambo bavuga ngo once a soldier always a soldier that is why they say once a soldier, always a soldier. That is why they say if you are a soldier once, you're always one. Because the lessons that they learn they order them to keep it in themselves with them. Hallelujah. 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 That is why when they need them, they bring them back, they refresh their knowledges, and they're also on that standard they needed them to be on. So they are saying that after the corona, that is why last year we were learning about maturity so that when the corona came so many people spent the year at home we have new people in the church now. Let them those who, those who didn't come here nowhere else they're in their homes they, they like to you that they have found a closer church but they are in their houses they were lying to us because they did not retain what we learned from the first week to the last week of the year. You do not have that much space in your head. If God wanted us, wanted us to keep the Bible in our heads, the Bible would have been audio. Mm -hmm. The Bible says all scripture has been inspired by God and God has put it to, to, correct, to teach us no to correct us to, into the right way. In, do you know how, how many times that I've repeated the, the teachings that I've taught here? People find me here, find me in my home. When I'm listening to the teachings that I taught 10 years ago, 
And they tell me, Pastor. And they ask me, How do you feel when you're listening to yourself? He says, I, I'm blessed. I don't have the ability to remember word for word what I said last year, but when I go back to it, I am blessed by it. That is why the church and family those two are the nursery gardens for people who are going to those different mountains. Your, it's good to bring your children to church because that is where all wisdom is found. Don't enclose them in the church. Teach them how to go on the mountain of politics without, uh, without despising the principles of God. I will come back to the word learning. Let's read in Genesis 18. Verse 17 to 19. Inzego zose cyangwa ziriya nkingi zose ziba zikwiriye kuza kureba umuntu wagize uburere bwiza nuwize neza mu itorero kugira ngo zimujyane kuri uriya musozi niwe ni uzaba mu muntu muzima That is why all these um, pillars or aspects come to take a person who's been raised well and from a good church that is a person who is going to be a great leader Niyo mpamvu imana imaze kumenya aburahamu hari ikintu yamubwiye That is why when God knew Abraham there is one thing he told him Parents teach your children the word of God whether they like it or not teach it to them. Don't force them to do the word the don't force them to read the word of God but teach them how to use the word wherever they are. If you have seen a musician who has done wrong, it doesn't mean that music is cursed. Teach your child to be a musician following the principles of God. They will not insult other people. They will not be immoral. That is why whenever they sing a song, even though they're not mentioning God, people will find it inspiring. They will come back and know that they were raised with God principles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is one song that used to say that a person, a right person is not by size. Not the height, not the, not the physical appearance, but the heart. Don't Teach your child to be a musician following you will tie him here when he's under 12. When he goes to high school, he will go to school and he will come back with a song. He will be popular, having piercings wherever. Teach him to do whatever he wants using God's principles. 
That is why I'm telling you, you gave birth to the body, not the brains. Do not want, you should not want to enforce your heart on them. Teach them how to be with God in their hearts. Do you think it's for young children only? It's not only for the young people. How many things you did in secret hiding it from your parents? The same way you hid things from your parents is the same way they're hiding things from you. Teach them to do it well. Teach them using the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It all comes down to the work, the word of God and the family. That is that is what we're talking about. This is the command that God gave to Abraham. That is why I'm giving it to you. Genesis chapter 18, verse 17 to should I hide my plan from, from Abraham? The Lord asked. Amen. For Abraham will certainly become a great mighty nation and all the nations of, of earth will be blessed through him. Amen. Amen. Mm. I have singled him out so that he will direct his sons and their families to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just. Then I will do for Abraham all that I have promised. Amen. Amen. So judges are servants of who? Nabi man. Are they for God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ichatu mnyemu mnyanya no kujirango yiji shaba na na baza wako moka o kujirango kujirango kujir. Kandi na chona kora muhish. The reason why I, I'm telling him is for him to teach his children and children and children. And I cannot hide anything from him. God will not hide anything from you about his children. And he can reveal it to you using what your children like. Sit and ask him, why is this what you want? Have a conversation with them. If you find that that is within them and it's not mistake. Accompany them with advice and the word of God which will help him or her do it well. You will have served God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will have served God. Teach your children to be valuable in the house of God. Sir, teach your children to not look for jobs for money, but to live fulfilling their purpose of living. Hallelujah. 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 Burja, uh, what you're doing is not your your work. What you live for is what your what is your work. What you live for is among all those things we talk about. We talked about. That is why you might be in a place where they talk business and you don't get it. That is why. You might be in a place where they talk business and you don't get it. That is what shows you that you were supposed to serve God on the mountain of business. There is a person who 
There's a person who has not even bought a bicycle for themselves, but they know all the prices of cars and the models. That we must say, we must say, we it do not uh, do not discourage them you can even tell them you can deal with the ones who want to buy it and have discounts for them there are people who are disrespectful the people who, whom we disrespect and they help us a great work if i don't when i don't uh, when i see people who don't pay them i see i tell them you don't know what you're playing with people who are commissioners they know expensive houses, they know rich, they know the ones who have all the sorts of conditions. They work on the mountain of media and business at the same time. Sometimes Sometimes when your child says they want that, you curse them and say they will not make anything out of them. But we know some of them who are righteous. We recommend them everywhere. We give them. If you want, you want a plot of house, this commissioner is going to help you. When he helps you buy a house of 10 million when you're about to pay 18, is in he serving God? When will you have done wrong if you call him a servant of God? As I conclude, brethren, Whatever we do in the kingdom of God, Amen. the standard of whether or not we have, do, we, have, uh, we have been productive is not the money we get from it, it's the heart that we, did, we do it with. If a politician, even though we might praise him, if his, in his heart is not doing it from the heart, God might see that it is in vain because they do it without love. A singer who is singing here, even though we've been blessed without it coming from the heart, God will not bless them. Same way for the mountain of health and every other mountain. Let us close in Corinthians chapter 16. Verse 13 and 14. Mukomerere mu byo mwizeye muba bagabanya abagabo mwikomeze ibyo mukora byose mu bikora no rukundo. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 13 says be on guard, stand firm in faith, be courageous, be strong, and do everything with love. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And the one sign to show you that this mountain is for you, God gives you love for what you're about to do. No, Sanguri Gukorichi, Nukukawandi, Vajikoruta Jikund. If you're doing something because other people are doing it, it is not your calling. You're not, you're not serving God. You're working for other people to see you or for your stomach. Be alert. Stand firm in faith. Be courageous. Be strong. And do everything with love. I have concluded. Let us pray. I want to pray in the following way. 
um, examine yourself and check if you're not on the mountain that is not yours. Make the decision to go on the mountain that God has called you for. Let me remind you we do not work for well-being we live so that we may do what God has called us for. Hallelujah. 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 online Amen. Amen.